Tally how there champs and welcome to the show. Now a lot of people have asked me about using Linux on the XPS 15. Well, because I get asked that question so much, I'm going to make a video on it. If you really like these XPS videos, you've got to give me a thumbs up there so I'll keep on making them. Because some people complain. No jerks. If you're a Linux user, you're probably going to wipe the whole hard drive, put your Linux on, you know what to do. But if you're just interested in Linux, like you're bi curious, what you have to do is go into your computer management in your disk management. You need to shrink your hard drive volume or your SSD volume by the amount of gigabytes you want the Ubuntu operating system to have. Once you do that, you go to Ubuntu's website, download the Ubuntu ISO. You then go and download Rufus. You make a bootable USB from the Ubuntu ISO using Rufus. So once you've made that bootable Ubuntu USB using Rufus, stick it into your XPS, shut it down, then you want to power up the XPS, press F12, to bring up the boot menu and then select the USB drive to boot off. Now once you do that you just follow the prompts to install Ubuntu but the important thing here is you select the option to install it alongside Windows. You do not want to wipe the whole drive and kill your Windows partition. You want to install it alongside Windows and it will be pretty simple once you select that because it will just use that shrinked partition you have made or that empty space you have on your SSD or hard drive and if I didn't mention it you might want to just format that space that you've allocated or shrunk but you don't have to you can do it through the installation as well now once you follow the prompts and install it if you want to swap between the two operating systems you just press F12 when you start up the XPS 15 it will give you the boot option between Windows and Ubuntu once you boot into a Ubuntu, now I'm no Linux expert, so I'm sorry if I don't cover this in the way you wanted because I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm not even going to pretend. But all I can tell you is everything works, like the trackpad, all the keyboard shortcuts for brightness and volume and all that sort of stuff, the wireless, the Bluetooth, the display looks good, the fingerprint scanner, no, that wasn't working. Everything works fast and fluid, the apps open fast. You can download and install apps or the updates on Ubuntu work. Overall, it just works nice, fast, fluid, works like just any operating system would. Now, I tried to install a driver for the GTX 1050, but NVIDIA only had like some 32-bit Linux driver and that didn't work. So I do not know how to install the driver for the 1050. Maybe it already has one. I don't know. But all I can say is performance-wise, when I installed Steam and I downloaded and installed Rocket League, which isn't an intensive game, it works, no problems, like you have to lower down the settings, but it's working like at integrated graphic speed. I don't know if Linux is just no good at 3D and it's using the GTX 1050, but it just performs that bad. But to me, it feels like it's just using the integrated graphics and not using the 1050 because, yeah, you can set it to 1080p. You can play the game. You have to lower down the settings there to performance instead of detail. It's playable, but in no way is this getting the full performance out of this computer. So that's all I can say in regards to performance. It feels like Rocket League is playing at integrated graphic speed. But then again, when I used the Mac with Rocket League and Civilization, it performed really poor as well. So maybe it is actually using the graphics, I'm not sure. But you Linux guys, you know what you're doing. You know how to install the drivers and that stuff. All I can say is stuff works in the performance stakes. I'm not getting what I should be getting. The battery life is not as good. You're losing a couple of hours on the battery life. You're getting around four hours with the 4k screen it does seem to chew battery more and overall that's all i can tell you on the linux front so if this video was helpful give me a thumbs up there i'd like to really thank you guys for watching if you're new around here why not subscribe and until next time guys cheerio